Hello again, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Group By, Rollup, and Cube. Each row in this table is identified by four specific columns, and each row has a sales value associated with it. We then insert some random data into the table. The first column has two distinct values, the second column has five distinct values, and the third column has ten distinct values. Each row has a random sales value associated with it, and you can see here we've inserted a thousand rows in total. Here we're using the sum aggregate function against the sales value column. Without a group by, this will be the sum of all the rows in the table. Using group by, we can restrict the reach of aggregate functions so they're applied on a per group basis. The output shows the number of rows and the average sales value on a per group basis. We have two distinct values in the grouped column, so we have two rows displayed. Column 1 has two distinct values, column 2 has five distinct values. If we group by both columns, we'd expect ten distinct groups. And that's exactly what we get. Column 3 has ten distinct values, so that's going to multiply the total number of groups by 10, and we'll have 100. And that's exactly what we get. Let's see what happens when we add rollup to the group by. Rollup gives us n plus 1 levels of subtotals, where n is the number of columns in the rollup. Here we have two columns in the rollup, so we'd expect three levels of subtotals. Level 1 are the subtotals we'd expect to see in a normal group by. Level 2 are the subtotals for each distinct value of the first column, and level 3 is the grand total. Cube gives us 2 to the power n levels of subtotals, where n is the number of columns in the cube. We have 2 columns in the cube, so we have 2 to the power 2, or 4 levels of subtotals. Level 1 are the subtotals we'd expect to see from a normal group by. Level 2 are the subtotals for each distinct value of column 1. Level 3 are the subtotals for each distinct value of column 2. And level 4 is the grand total. It's relatively easy to identify the subtotals visually, but how would we do that programmatically? That's where the grouping function comes to our aid. We call the grouping function for each of the columns specified in our rollup or cube. If the grouping function returns the value 1, it means the column contains a null that's generated as part of a subtotal by rollup or cube. A value of 0 means that either it's a non-null value generated as part of rollup or cube, or it's a regular value in the result set. All zeros mean these rows were not generated subtotals by cube. The 0-1 combination means that the null in column 2 is generated so this must be a subtotal for a distinct value of column 1. The 1 0 combination means the null in column 1 is generated, so this must be a subtotal for a distinct value of column 2. The 1 1 combination means the null values in column 1 and column 2 are generated, so this must be the grand total. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and give the video a like if you liked it. Say it a few times if you want, and I'll Dot pick com. the worst. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> How's that? Go on. Dot com. <laughs> That's very corporate. You should do one of those. Dot com. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs>